Hey, welcome. Yeah, so my final video on Pell's equation and um, this is arguably my favorite, although I like all of them because I love math and I love teaching it. But yeah, like this is pretty cool. So um, supposedly um, solving this particular generalized Pell's equation is related to finding a comma b so that this is true. So if you want to find a uh, pair of integers a comma b so that this is true, then you want to know how to solve this this particular generalized Pell's equation. Now, in my last and fourth video, I showed you how to solve um, Pell's equation um, that is called the generalized Pell's equation, which is x squared minus dy squared equals n. And my very first video, I showed you how to solve um, Pell's equation when um, n is one, right? And this is called the generalized Pell's equation. And uh, my fourth video showed you how to solve this. My first video showed you how to solve this. So from what we know um, in um, my fourth video, we know that um, one solution to uh, this here, this equation here is um, three comma one. And another solution is uh, 27 comma 11. So let's keep this in mind. But yeah, <laughs> first talk about how has this got to do anything with solving that? Well, let's expand um, both on the left side and on the right side of this where expanding is required. Then the left side will be a squared plus a squared uh, plus 2a plus 1. And the right side will be b squared plus b squared plus 2b plus 1 plus b squared plus 4b plus 4, right? Now combining like terms, we see that we can write those two as 2a. So I have 2a squared um, and then plus 2a, right? Okay, misspoke. We used to make 2a squared and then I have 2a. Um, and what I'm gonna do with that one here is I'm gonna cancel it with the one right there so um, then uh, we say this equals, on the right side, I have 1b squared, 2b squared, 3b squared. So I've got 3b squared, um, and then I've got 2b and 4b, so that makes plus 6b. And then we've got that 4 at the end, right? I'll just circle it. So plus 4, right? Okay, cool. Got it. Now what? On the left side, let's take out the common factor of 2 and write a squared plus a, and we're gonna complete the square. So we're gonna write plus a quarter, and to make up for adding a quarter, we can subtract a quarter. Okay, then on the right side, we're gonna do a similar thing, take out the three from the first two terms. Oh, sorry, that was sloppy, from these two terms. Take out a three, so that's three times, ah, three times, and then it's b squared um, plus two b. We're gonna complete the square here as well, so plus one making up for adding one, subtract one, and then um, plus four, right? Okay, cool. So on the left side, we've got two times, this is now a perfect square binomial, and it is a plus a half all squared. And then we have minus a quarter, right? Equals, and then we have three times, um, this is now a perfect square binomial, specifically it's b plus one uh, squared, right? these three terms and then we have the minus one so minus one and then we have plus four right okay cool now on the left side we can write um, this guy here slightly differently as um, 2a plus one squared uh that's square squared over four no big deal it's just get common denominators between a and a half and then yeah, I use exponent rules and you should see why I could do that. And then minus a quarter and then equals, equals what? Uh, it equals, um, it equals three times uh, b plus one squared minus three plus four. Writing minus three plus four is silly. I, I'll just write plus one, right? Okay, cool. Where to from here? I don't know, but we need space, so uh, let's make space. Actually, I do know. Don't worry. It's like, you don't know? You're supposed to be teaching. 
Um, all right, so now next, um, we're gonna cancel this two that's gonna turn into a two that's gonna turn into a two, or rather distribute the two is what I meant, not cancel the two. They are distributed to the first and the second guy, okay? And then once I do that, I've got, uh, on the left side, I've got two a uh, plus one squared minus one, all divided by two. No, I was hoping my ruler was horizontal. Take my chances. Uh, divided, ah, sorry. Maybe I won't divide, okay, that's better. Divide by two equals, um, on the right side, it will be three times b plus one squared plus one, right? Okay, and next, I'm gonna multiply both sides of this equation by two. And when I do that, I get two a plus one squared minus one on the left side and on the right side remember i multiplied both sides of this equation by two so on the right side i'll have six times i ah, you see where it's going plus uh, b plus one squared and then um, plus two and it's pretty obvious what i'm going to do next i'm going to move this to the left side and i'm going to move this minus one to the right side and when i do i'll be able to write two a plus one squared um, minus six times uh, b plus one squared uh, is equal to two plus one or three. Ah, so if, um, if we let uh, x equal, if we let x equal to a plus one, and then we let y equal b plus one, then this equation, which is the same as this equation after all those algebraic steps, is the same as this equation, so long as uh, x is equal to 2a plus 1 and y is equal to uh, b plus 1. So you have x squared minus 6y squared is equal to 3. So this is how the solutions to this are related to finding a and b so that this is true. And this is pretty cool, isn't it? All right, now, um, so let's see uh, if we can use the two solutions we know, 3 comma 1 and uh, 27 comma 11 to find a and b so that this is true. Well, uh, 3 comma 1 will mean that x is 3, so 3 will have to equal uh, 2a plus 1, which will mean that a is equal to 1, right? Okay, and then um, because uh, in 3 comma 1, y is 1, that would mean that 1 is equal to b plus 1, so b is equal to 0. So that gives us um, a comma b, which is 1 comma 0, that solves this, but it's a trivial solution, right? Because look at what we'll get. We'll get... 1 squared for a squared plus 1 plus 1 is 2, so 2 squared on the left side equals, and then b is 0, so 0 squared plus 1 squared, and then plus um, b plus um, 2 is going to be, since b is 2, is 2 squared. Well, how trivial. It just says 1 squared plus 2 squared is equal to 1 squared plus 2 squared. All right, all right, we know that. Okay, so not so interesting. But what about if we use our other pair? And um, remember, in my um, other videos, I showed you to get, I showed you how to get uh, more and more solutions to this, so you can make many more, right? But yeah, let's. Uh, this should be sufficient to illustrate the power of um, the relationship between this and this. Okay, so we're saying um, that uh, twenty-seven is x, and then eleven is y. So what does what does that do? That means that we'll have. Uh, 27 minus 1, which is 26, is equal to 2a, so a is equal to 13, and then b will have to be 10. Um, so what does that mean? That means 13 squared plus 14 squared is equal to, is equal to, uh, 13 squared plus 14 squared is equal to, uh, what is it, 10 squared plus 11 squared uh, plus 12 squared. Isn't that really cool? I thought so. So yeah. All right. Um, that's it. And um, I think like yeah, there was uh, yeah. Never mind. I'll stop here. Cool. Take care.